Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deep Third, episode 52. In the previous episode, we started by building this bridge to the brand new island, and a boat comes through the right time. Excellent. Right through the gap, good, and you. Okay, not so much clipping the edge. Anyway, we're going to continue the bridge. So, today's job is to come build the other part of this bridge, the road, the opposite direction one. Uh, hopefully, not going to destroy these too badly. But I'm sure we'll figure that out pretty soon. Get that built round, and then we can start building on this island over here, which is our, kind of our next target. So the first thing for that is to build this road out. Now, rather than take this road down and then upgrade it, I'm going to start the building from here. Go that way. Might need to pause just while we deal with this little junction here, but for now that'll do fine. And then we'll we'll continue from there. So roads, those roads, and we'll keep it level with that one if we can. Keep it about that far apart should be fine. We'll pause for a second due to the power cable is going to be destroyed pretty momentarily. Boom. And then, yeah, you can go for there. So that's why it's it pause. Go. Pull back, pull back, pull back. And I just want to keep that train track elevator a little, little bit longer. Little, little bit longer. Just to there. Then, you see, then you can do stuff like this. You up to there, and you to there. There you go, your problem solved. Power cables, power cables. Boop, and you. Oh, yeah, you uh, might need to level up a little bit sooner than you were doing. Uh, boop, boop. Why are you not getting to that one? Connect to that one. Come across the road. Boom. Boom. Kaboom. Power cables are reconnected. That's fine. Let's just see if we can get this road to go through here now. Uh, you go through. Good. And it's just a highway that. The highway. That slip road there to deal with now, which we haven't been to get over that, but it's that uh, downwards piece that's. Ah. Uh, so remove that, put that in place so we know where this is going to be. And then we put the slip road off of this, off the other side. That will do it. Uh, so get Bendy Road, come from here, out, down, down. Then you should cut across there. Oop, not, not that fast. There you go. Cut across there like this. Do, 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 do. Boom. And then remove all that. And have you then swing in. That. There you go. You're back online again. We can now unpause while we continue the building. Perfect. Highway. So the highway is going to continue around here. It will follow this road for the most part in its, contour, in its contours. So let's do that. Be around. Like this. And then we'll flip the direction of this road itself in a moment anyway. There we go. That's because it was starting to lean away from this road a little bit too much. Now here's where we stop for a second. No. Boom. And then we have to elevate it up a little bit. Up, up. Across the road. Across, well, across the road. Across the uh, train track. And then down, down. There we go. Now I am leaving a bit of a decent gap in. It's a much bigger gap than I would like to have left. And I might actually, yeah, I probably should move that over. Yeah, let's, let's move that over. It's, it's a big gap I wanted to have there. Uh, so we'll set you a bit further up this time. I think to there this time. Yeah, we'll close the gap. Maybe we should actually close the gap a bit earlier. Here. Bring you to there with that turn. Yes, that'll close the gap up quite nicely there. Don't want to get too close. I wonder if we get things in here, but I uh, want to be able to make sure we're actually progressing with things. Um, about there. Pull it back a bit. Pull it back to about there. That should be about right for setting the climb for the bridge. And just up, up. And then across the bridge. And then down, down. There we go. About the same. We can always adjust them later on if we feel like we need to adjust them. Uh, this particular case, I think we just get across there. That needs a bit further out. Maybe not quite that far out. Come on. Ooh. So close. So close. You know what I'm going to say? 
Boom. There we go. Bridges are done. That's just for convenience. Let's flip this around now. So it goes the right direction, or as I get confused, really confused later on. Okay, almost flipped around all the way. Just going to make sure we're careful with this piece of roading because it will uh, quite happily confuse itself, let alone me. Really? You take a power cable out by flipping the road around? That can't be right. Either way, that's now done. We have access to here. We can put this through here in a moment and then we can start building off of it. This bit here, on the other hand, we can now actually remove you there and you know what we have the cash 73,000 is sufficient at least I think it is to replace all that road with actual motorway right so first of all uh, give me the bendy road tool and I don't think we need bendy road tool for this but slope too steep it's not too steep it's just you're being a weird surface we the bulldozer build from there to here. And if, that is horrible. That is, that's, that is just horrible. Why would you even think that's acceptable? Why? why? Why would you think that's even acceptable? Build the bridge up to... There. If it goes roughly like... Whoa. Roughly in line with the other one. And then we continue on through here. So I'll bring you up, 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 down, down, up, boom, boom. I'm not entirely sure why you're doing these things, but my best guess is you hate me for some reason. On pause, no, no, on pause. Uh, well, camera angles. That road needs reconnecting. And the camera angle just went haywire. That's a single track road? Or is it a double track road? It is... It's a triple lane road. Okay, well that's going to stop straight away. Um, most of us don't have the triple lanes to give you. Is that triple? No, it's a single lane. It's a single lane standard road, is that? So... Is it that one? Give me the gate tool. It's not that. Is it that? It's not that. Because that would be like that. It's not you. And in the high speed roads, is it a highway? It's not a highway. Hmm. Either way, I'm basically going to upgrade it to be uh, that. Because I don't think it needs to be more than one lane. Because it's going to end in one lane at the, at the top here anyway. <clears throat> so I don't see the reason why it would be more than one lane. Because it's going to be one lane jumping to that. Okay. Bendy road tool, go there, and bendy road tool up, 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 boom, and then into there. There you go. Bendy lane roads. Now we need to put the power cable back in again because everyone loves a bendy lane road, but old people prefer power more. You to there. You can't go to there. Well, how about you to there? Would that work? It does work. On pause. <clears throat> so you guys can come up there, you can go down there, excellent. I feel like you're going to have to cut across a few lanes in a moment. Nope, you're just going to despawn, that's fine. Okay, so these roads now go over here, and we get over the little bridge nicely, and it goes over here, and gets to here, perfect. Now, this is where we're going to get kind of creative, shall we say. Uh, I want these ones with the barrier, because it will make them, uh, now they're going to be, you know, they're going to be elevated all the way, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I want these guys over here. Boom, like that. I never want these to go onto the ground. I want to be able to put roads underneath them at any time without problems. So we don't worry about that. You're going to come across here. Now, I'm not going to do it just yet. You're going to come pretty much across here to about aiming for that black smear there. But for now, I'm actually just going to stop you where you are. At full speed. We are making money, but very, very small amounts of money right now. Which is just really hamstring in our ability to uh, build stuff. Come on, come on, boom, there we go. Now we're at a point now where we can basically can't afford anything. But uh, that's what I want to get to there. Now we just need 12 grand for that. I'm not going to touch that right now, but I am going to flip this world around 
so we don't get forgetting it. Full speed, well, we earn a bit of cash. I am aware we currently only make cash at night, but that's fine. There we go. Right, so we can now start taking off ramps from here and start putting them into little housing areas for people to live in. And we can then deal with over here maybe this is, this is supposed to be an industrial area, so let's have like three or four in, um, exits here. Put something back here, something here, something here, maybe something here. I'm not sure about three or four, we'll figure it out as we get closer. Um, I'm thinking about just do three, one up here, one there, one there. The reason being I want to maybe put another junction here to bring these off to feed these islands with a highway later. But for now that's what we're getting at. We really can't afford anything right now, we are that close. Um, we are at full speed, we are losing population, that is our downside right now. Um, I think it's just because services are not being fully rendered. Um, I mean, this place is entirely a house right now. We have a big housing demand, which is really nice to see, but it is causing us some problems with lack of cash. And people, how come people are moving out when we have a high housing demand? I don't understand that part. It's kind of confusing. Um, but, but yeah, all our housing areas are done. We can actually start replacing some of our uh, small houses at the beachfront with uh, high density. But I kind of like leaving them like this. Maybe we do the back end of these only. Well, I'd still like leaving them where they are. I'm happy with the current layout. Ooh. Ten tourists. Nice. Uh, let's see how you do. Frame rate rise. I'm kind of curious. 14 on the entrance. And then we hit the terminal. We just have to see loads of people in the roof section walking across. Loads of people up there. And we're holding 14 frames at the bus station. The bus station is the worst place for frames due to the sheer number of entities of being the people walking around. Yeah, I did really well. Alright, so... In that industrial area is really filled out from the last episode, isn't it? Even the office district here is really filled out. I mean, there's a big demand for offices, to tell you the truth. Um, these guys here, I know you are not levelling up in some areas. Right, so they're fine. This area here, these are the ones that need levelling up. Now, what do you actually require to fully level up? Educate more citizens and I'm building to be upgraded. So you need more educated citizens. You are fine because you're on that side of the buildings. So you're telling me you want more educated civilians. Okay. And over here, in our other industry, you're maximised, you're already maximised. You should already be maximised, right? Yep. So the way it works basically is you get, uh, what are these icons? Not enough raw materials. There should be plenty. Where from with your raw material supply? There's no traffic jams. I am really thinking about putting a train track in this area somewhere. And I have a dead end track just sat there waiting to be reconnected. So if we can get that across here somehow, I think you can take it across there maybe. We can weave it down that piece of track, down that piece of road there, no problem. Bring it through here. Drop a train station here for them, and then get back up to here. I think we can do that as well. Not with the cash we've got, but we can do it. Um, we haven't got much cash, that's our downside right now. We are making some cash in the daytime. But uh, we have these budgets all got a wheelie out of whack right now. Which I really want to work on. Uh, yeah, we don't have much income coming from those. Dun, 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 dun. Our airplanes are losing us money. I don't need the airplanes to be operational, to tell you the truth, so I'm more than happy to make a bit of cash that way around. The reason I don't need the airplanes to make that much money for us is because we don't, we're not banking on tourism. We're getting more of our vehicles coming in through uh, road anyway. So that should hopefully help. Um, the buses are making us a small profit. The trains are making us a... Is that trains or subways? That's trains. That's always. Subways are making us a huge loss right now. I wish I could turn trains down on individual lines. So can you have like one train on that one to go back and forth rather than like 15? Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty well on... Well, we're losing money, but we're still losing pretty well on most of these sort of things. I really should look at the subway system. It's losing 11 grand a day. That's uh, highly inefficient for us. Uh, we could turn these down, actually. There we go. I mean, we don't need them. There's a lot of trains going point to point right now. You know what, actually? There are a lot of trains going point to point. I don't think we need anywhere near that many. Uh, that many. That should hopefully help out. If it doesn't work, we'll have to just up it a little bit. 
But uh, can we see how it's actually affecting stuff over here? Not that one. Not that one. Okay, maybe that one. Where's the one for public transport? Maybe it's in the transport system. No. Public transport, it would be that one. So the buses are saving pretty decent jobs, uh, jobs, trips. The subway is doing decent as job as it is, so we can leave those alone. The airplane never lines up on this one, but we get 15 and 45, yeah, it's not worth even operating. Uh, we don't get any taxi lines because they tend to just not build them. All right, so the road is coming on, but it's now turned to night time, so the budget goes through the roof and we get to build stuff. And building stuff is the best time of, of the game because, you know, it's all about building stuff. Boom. Flip that around. There we go. That's just because I wanted to get up. Right, we're up. And then we're ready to start uh, creating our little junctions here to get off into an area. Now, I think rather than to the junctions first, we can actually start building our little housing area first. That should be that shouldn't be too bad. Now I'm not gonna build the dark, so I'll probably end up building that in the morning. So while we're doing that, let's have a look at zoning issues. Ah, so we've got some zoning issues already. Zoning Give me Boop, there you go. And maybe if we actually uh Maybe zone all of this in uh, offices because it looks like it could be an interesting thing to do. There we go. That entire strip there will be offices all the way down the edge. Not for any particular reason, but I see there's quite a lot of demand for them. Um, a lot of vehicles on the road right now, which is really nice to see as well. And you, you're on the main road. Let's turn you around. Can you be on this path here? There you go, you're now on this road here. It makes more sense for you to be on this back road than to be on that front road. Uh, that's all fine. The game is now auto saving. Thank you, auto save. And these vehicles are really doing well. Whoop. Yeah, they're doing really well. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Still not happy with you guys, though. It's just trying to figure out these. It's supposed to be the supply lines causing the issue. But I don't know where in the supply line the issue is caused. And if I hit this button here to find out, it doesn't give me any information. All it tells me is there's a person on a bike over here. But it doesn't tell me what roads are feeding them, which makes it really hard. If I knew where they were coming from, is there any way to know where they're getting supplies, where supposedly get supplies from? Because I don't know. I, I'm completely in the blank on how to do that. Uh, if I knew where they were coming from, I could then try and track down where the uh, bottleneck is that's causing them to... Why is that? Not enough educated workers. We'll deal with the educated workers problem later. When they're all too stupid to know better. Anyway. We're going to start building this. It's become a little bit lighter now, so we can start building. I think the fog itself has gone. So let's switch over to this. Now, I want the city itself, the main part of, the, of these housing areas. It's going to be mostly high density, so we're going to build more of a gridish type. Uh, but I want the main road down the middle to be uh, that, with the bus lane on it. So we can have a bus lane on the, uh, on the thing. So give me a straight line from and on the ground, from here straight down. Not too close to the highway. About there. These are going to be small, medium sized neighbourhoods anyway, so uh, boom, there you go. And then we'll have normal roads with. Can we have the tree lines? There we go. Normal roads with trees coming off of that and then having their own lines running off parallel with them. So, first of all, starting there. We're new there and then. Wow, that, isn't, that is not even close. Why are you underground? Stop it. When you out there to there plus one. Yes, there plus one. All the way down to the end just to meet up. And then you come out this way. Plus one. No, not a plus one with you. That road must be because it's a bigger road. You run this way. Like that. And then I don't want to bring you out too far because of the sand. I have uh, plans for the sands. You there, two there, and then you can come one more, about there, and then I think you get one more in here, but not for a very long one though. That, and we could tape these off, and I actually like the idea of having these kind of angled. No particular set angle, I just like the idea of them being angled. 
Don't like that one. That, that one. that went curvy. That one went curvy. Let's just go normal, please. It's that bridge. Can we do it without the bridge? No. Okay, well, if we can't do it without the bridge, let's do it really. Boom. There you go. And then you would connect to that one. So that's just that for there. And then you would go boom, boom. Just making these wherever these roads connect because it makes it that little bit extra unusual. And then you would go there. But I don't want to do that because that just seems like it's going to be a bad idea, doesn't it? Boom. Remove that. Remove that. So there we go. I could do that. We could do that, but that would be in keeping with the rest of the system, actually. There you go. Ugh, I don't like that, though. We can do that for a moment. If we put you there to there, then we can put you there and you there. There we go. It's a bit weird, a bit whappy, and a bit unusual, but I like unusual, as you're well aware. At least I hope you are by now. So that's like housing district area number one. Now, it's only the first piece, because that's where the high street goes in the middle. On this side, we're going to have more, but we also need to have these interconnecting road pieces we, uh, we like to have. Well, the many, many junctions, basically. The more junctions you have on the grid road like these, the less likely they are to cause congestion. And that one's over there. That's fine. Uh, on this side, we're going to do something very, very similar. So, for now, I'm going to run you up to here and run you down. Plus one. Plus one with the big roads. Plus one with the big roads. I bet you should pay attention to yourself, Peter. You don't do there we go. Plus one to the big roads. And put that to there. So I can get it in. And then we'll bring you out again. And you will appear. And this will obviously have to stop at some point. Due to that uh, highway being in the way. Which is kind of the interesting way. This has, it has its own stopping point for a different reason entirely. There we go. And then you go there and then up to there. And you have to stop there, don't you? There we go. Right. So let's put those uh, vertical lines back in the game. And we could put that there. Yeah, we'll do that there. And then do you. Yep. Boom. 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 And then you come down here with boom. <coughs> um, excuse me, but uh, whatever you were doing there, please stop that. There we go. So we have this entire area all zoned in now, and it has this little grid layout with these little angles, which I do like. And this main road going down the middle. Now, there'll be no houses on the main road, but I might put offices or something on the main roads just to help feed the city with stuff. So bring out that with the road with the bus stops. Now we get to this. Now, what we're going to do here is bring you round. Boom, and then we're going to connect up this to that, and then we'll be able to zone it properly and have people moving in. To do that, we need to set roads. So the first piece of the road is going to be from here, going down to there, like that. And then the next one's going to be going, for now anyway, going back up and back onto the main road, so it'll come out this way. I'll start it here, and we'll send you round. Whoop. There's a pillar in the way. Send you this way, and around. Why are you, why, 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 why do you have issues with me going underneath that road? You shouldn't have any problems with that. There, okay, you're, having, you're not having any issues with that. You're just being awkward for the sake of being awkward, aren't you? Yes, you are. Why? I bet it's because you're not actually two up on you. You're only one up on that side. Ugh. All right, from there, going across. Yeah, you're you're not actually two notches up on the road. You're one notch up on the on the old thing, aren't you? Uh, when we find out, um, one, two. No, you are two notches up. It's just that this road is because it's on the hill. Okay, well, in that case, we should hopefully be able to curve under, right? Yeah! There you go. 
And then from there, you've got to go up onto the bridge, right? Come on, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. There you go. I almost had to kill you for a moment then, Road. Flip that one around, flip that one around, and there we go. Right, what are we at? We're at 25. No major issue. We can connect these up pretty easily. So you... We connect into there. And you... We come out this way. Into there. But don't want to do it there. I'm not way too far back. So... You would then... Want to keep on swinging this way. Yeah, okay. Uh, you would come straight down to there. Good. Good, good, good. Give me the bus route road. And now I have to tell you to go until you hit that apex there. Because then, what we do is take the here. You come out there and go up. Boom. And you can come here and go in. Boom. There you go. One road in, one road out. For now, that's fine. We'll mix that into two lane out at some point and a two lane in. And we'll have them feed from the, this way and going that way. But there's not really a reason to do that just this moment in time. Okay, we have the road connected. We have this area done. It hasn't been zoned yet, but it will be zoned as housing for the most part. With some shops in there and maybe some offices down the middle. That's kind of the plan. Let me know what you think of the designs. It's a bit greedy compared to my normal designs, but uh, there's a reason behind this greediness. Trust me on that one. It's just it's more efficient than I'm going to make the entire area. The whole area is going to be high density, whatever. So uh, let me know what you think of the current design and hey, just don't pay too much attention to the hole in the world that's underneath that bridge there. If you don't look hard enough, the world won't fall in. That's, that's how the world works, trust me. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I said don't look at the hole in the world. I saw you looking at it.